Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So, do you know how long I have been waiting for this little Natasha Denona retro palette? It has been on back order for forever, for forever. So I recently picked it up, mm, I wanna say maybe two or three weeks ago. It's been busy. I've been busy, but anywho, I wanted to sit down desperately to try and make a look out of this. Now, this is t -t totally, totally, t -t totally out of my comfort zone. Let me open this bad boy up. How beautiful is this? I mean, of course, I cannot afford the whole thing of Natasha Denona. It's just not in my budget, but these are cute. I actually have the mini that I bought last year, but I have been eyeballing this bad boy for forever. And uh, yeah, so here it is. I am dying to try it. So without further ado, let's get started on some kind of look. I just don't know where we're headed. Come on. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with this color right over here. Do they have colors here? Yeah, Galaxia, Galaxia, Industrial, 60s, Vintage Taupe, and Pixie. I'm going to just point because I don't know what is what. I'm going to start off with this color right over here. I'm going to take my uh, handy dandy, uh, let's see here, the BK Beauty 201, and I'm going to get started. And per usual, I do my makeup the same way all the time. I will take the most product and I will stick it right on the outer corner of my eyes and uh, start from there. I just want you to know I just picked up also this uh, let me uh, hmm, this Vanity Planet mirror. It is so super great. You plug it in and um, it comes you know it lights up and stuff. I just well, there it lights up. There's the mirror but um, sometimes I like to just keep it just like this here without the light because then it'll reflect and yeah, so we're going to just use it for a mirror right now. My hair is all over the place. But anywho, let's get started, shall we? So like I said, I'm going to just take this right over here. Ooh, that is so pretty. And I'm going to just tap it. And I like to leave it right over here. And I have hooded eyes. So like in every single one of my videos, I know I'm like a broken record. I tap and put right at the very edge. And then I look straight ahead to see if I could see it. Whoop, I almost dropped a mirror, which I can. So I'm going to do it like that. And by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And you can ring the bell. It'll give you notifications of when I post, which is usually every Tuesday around 2 o'clock. And I always say ish because I try to get on time, but sometimes I can't. So it's on Tuesdays at 2 o'clock and Saturdays at 1 um, so yeah, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, like, make comments, tell your friends, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. These are so beautiful. I can just feel it underneath the brush and on my eyelids. It's so creamy. Hmm. It's so nice. Actually, I want to grab like a, a closer mirror. Um, I'm going to just use this one right here because I cannot see. I don't have my contacts on. I can't see. I'm a blind bat. This is so creamy. Like, I've been testing out other um, eyeshadows lately. This is so beautiful and, like, right up my alley. It's so beautiful. It's totally matte. There's no shimmer in it. There's no nothing. It is so, so pretty. I really, really love that. Way on. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty um, 202, which I absolutely love. It's a dome shape. And I'm going to just do it, man. I'm going to go right into that green, which is right over here. Let me just show you. I dipped right into this green. It is so, so pretty. I'm just going to tap it off a little bit. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. And I'm going to go right. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Lately, I've been really liking like this. I don't know. Um, I know we call it army green in my generation. The kids nowadays call it camouflage. When I used to say, "Oh, it's our, it's a uh, army green or 
the kids are like, what the hell are you talking about, Mom? I'm like, yeah, so it's army green. This is so pretty. Wow, I'm really loving that. So what I'm going to do, what I always do is, again, I keep it at the edge. And then, and I'm going to just go in circular motion. And then whatever product I have left over, I'll go into my crease. And like I said, when I go into my natural crease, it almost looks like a shade. It almost looks like a, like a shadow that's in there. You can't really see it. If I didn't go above, um, like I'm going to go back now with that beautiful mauve, I guess. Like if I don't go above, you'll never see the color. But I like when I get like a darker shade. It, it almost puts like a shadow in the crease. I think it's so pretty. Ooh, that is really nice. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just assess, let me just back up a little bit and assess. I'm gonna just a little bit here. And I'm just gonna switch out my brush. I'm gonna use this pencil brush. It's also from BK Beauty, it's the 207. I'm gonna just dip into that color again because I want it more precise. Oh, that's my little lover boy. He had a little minor surgery yesterday and he is not a happy camper. He's got his little uh, dome thing on. Mm, he's not happy. It was a rough night. Poor little lover. Anywho, so I'm going to just blend that right there. And then I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush and just, just fluff that out. So not to have any harsh lines. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I'm going to go, uh, yes, I'm going to go right into this right over here. Pixie, I guess this is called Pix Pixie right here. Ooh, that is so pretty. Can you guys see that? Oof. I'm going to go right in. I'm going to go right in. Ooh, that is so buttery and so creamy. I guess I should have swatched this. I'll swatch it in a minute. But I'm going to go right over my eyelid with this. Ooh. 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 God, that is beautiful. Ooh, that is so nice. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, that is so buttery. So I'm going to just put it over my eyelid. Oh, my God, that is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just want to increase it a tad. Man, it is so beautiful. That is so pretty. So there you go. That's that color. Let me see. That looks so good. I want to deepen up. Uh, you know what? I just want to deepen up a little bit more with that green. And then we're going to go back into it. Because I... I like that. That the, I would like that the shimmer would be on top of the green. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? That is so so pretty. Okay, so that's what I want to do, and I'm going to go back in and put that on top again. Oh my God, that is so buttery, so good. And now we're going to go on top. Yes. Ooh, that is so gorgeous. Okay, Natasha, you were worth the wait. You were worth the wait. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to put that also in my corners. Ooh, that is so pretty. Just a little bit. A little bit of zhuzhuzh. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, I'm loving that. By the way, I have a full face on. I will link everything down below of what I have on. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to take a look at this green too. I don't know where I want to. Oh my God, it is so pretty. It's so buttery as soon as you touch it. I love it. Where am I going to put it? Mm, I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it right over it. Now, you know what? I think that's too much shimmer. So I think I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. So yeah, let's just do that. Hell, let's just do it. I'm just take it also on my smudger brush. Tap it out. Let's just see. Ooh, that is beautiful. I love it. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Oh my God, I love this palette. I wish I were going out. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then I think what I'm going to do underneath, just to kind of like soften it up a little bit, I think I'm going to take um, that original um, pale pink. Let's see, what what is this? I guess it's the 60s vintage. Let me see, pixie. And I don't know, but I'm going to take this color right over here and just soften it up. I'm going to go right underneath um, 
what I have on. Yep. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking beautiful. Mm, how pretty is that? Oh, I love it. That looks so, so pretty. Mm, that looks amazing. And you know what? A lot of like, um, like a lot of like the shimmery or the glittery, you know, it kind of looks kind of like that messy look. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? It looks so pretty. Wow, that is so beautiful. I don't have anything above my brow and I don't want to, there's nothing light enough to put in there. And I really do not like shimmer. Let's see, what do I have down here that I could, burn? well, you know what? I have down here my um, Essence Brighten Up Powder that I think I'm going to put up there. I really don't care for shimmer over um, right underneath my eyebrow. I mean, I used to, but just not. I think what I have on is plenty. So I'm going to just use my banana powder. Yep. And just go right underneath my eye brow just to kind of marry everything. You don't want it to seem like there's like an empty spot up there. I mean, I guess you could. But anywho, that's nice. That that worked. So let me just blend this all out and let me just see. Wow, I so, so love that. Love it, love it, love it. So let me just put on um, some mascara and some um, eyeliner and then we will discuss it. And then we'll come back and finish off with the lipstick. So, um, yep, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. All I did was I um, used this uh, Lorac Front of the Line Pro um, Black Eyeliner, which I tight lined and I put a little bit up on top and in my waterline, which I normally don't use black, but I said, hey, what the heck? Um, the eyeshadow is a new thing for me. I might as well, uh, you know, go back with wearing some black eyeliner that I used to years ago, but I think it looks really, really good. I think it came out so great with everything. So um, that's all for, oh, and by the way, I am trying out um, a new mascara, the uh, Pixie by Petra Mascara. This is the Large Lash Mascara. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with um, this friggin' mascara word. I wanna say Long Lash Mascara, but it's Large Lash Mascara. So I am testing it out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is like, I think, one coat. I think I could even go further than that, but today is all about the eyeshadow, not about the mascara. Anywho, this is so, so great. So let me just grab um, some lip... Did I grab a lip gloss? I grabbed... I have something down here. I have um, this Bobbi Brown lip liner in Coco. Um, I had one years and years ago. I think it's about this big. I remember going to the store and purchasing it with my two great friends and I had no idea at least a good year. I'm not even gonna lie, at least a good year of where the hell did I put that freaking liner? <sighs> Girl, I just found it. Where? I know it's gonna be a shocker. Where my lip liners are. Yeah, I just found it today. So I'm like, dead gone it, Bobby Brown. You're coming with me. So let's just line the lips. Let's line the lips. And I'm not really a lipstick wearer. I'm a lip gloss wearer. So I brought down um, a Wayne Goss lip gloss. So we'll put that on top. But let's just start with the lip liner. Feather that in. Ooh, that looks so pretty, Bobby. You do not disappoint, girl. No, you don't. And yes, and I did bring down um, the cherry blossom from Wayne Goss that I absolutely adore. And by the way, I did post a video of his um, new eyeshadow palette line with his eyeliners. I'll link it down below um, of his stuff. But anywho, I love him. So I'm going to just take some cherry blossom. Mm, that is so beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. That is so pretty. Let's see. Oh my God. I absolutely love, love, love the way this came out. 
my hair came out nice too i guess it's a good day all around so there you have it guys i am so so in love with this little natasha denona mini the retro girl i have been waiting for you for months for months this has been out of stock um and let me tell you it was worth the wait it is so so look it's i'm looking down i'm looking at the monitor it is so beautiful the only color that i didn't try out was this one right here actually let's watch these bad boys and i'm gonna um oh god they are so buttery oof this this whatever this mat is it's so pretty the pink mat girl right up my alley right up my alley right up my alley oh my god i don't even like they are so buttery let me just turn this over just to show you i don't know if these colors will even do it justice it's so they are so beautiful and of course i ever so gingerly tapped them but of course you can make them darker as you um press even harder they're so pretty um but anyway yeah i am so so impressed um so this is the look I came up with. It's so pretty. I am loving that green, whatever you want to call it. You want to call it like uh, camouflage green, army green, whatever the heck you want to call it. It is so beautiful. And by the way, I ha even have a matching shirt on today. It is so, so pretty. But anyway, that is the look with the Natasha Denona retro palette. It's so pretty so so pretty um i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so so much for spending your time with me i so appreciate it and that yep so that is the look you guys have a great great day love each other and be good to each other bye